The opening statement by prosecutors was very graphic, containing details of what they believe Adam Montgomery did. For its part, the defense acknowledged that Adam helped hide Harmony's body, but says Kayla Montgomery was the last to see the little girl alive. For a second straight day, Adam Montgomery didn't appear in court, making only a brief appearance yesterday by Zoom. Now, during that appearance, he acknowledged he helped falsify physical evidence and carried out abuse of a corpse. The prosecution, in its opening statement, described Harmony as a little girl full of life, whose life changed dramatically when she went to live with Adam, Kayla, and two other children. Prosecutors say Harmony was killed on December 7th of 2019, but the defense says it actually happened the night before and that Kayla is lying about what happened. At the time, the family was living in a car and Harmony became incontinent, something the prosecution says enraged Adam to the point where he beat her to death. And he began striking her as he was driving, holding on to the wheel. He began punching this little girl repeatedly repeatedly for something she had no control over. He struck her blow after blow after blow. The only reason Kayla has to lie now is to protect herself. The only reason she has to lie and point the finger at Adam is because the truth points the finger at her. Both sides acknowledge that Kayla Montgomery is a key witness, but the prosecution says there's also forensic evidence to back up her version, while the defense noted that Kayla Montgomery has lied under oath, the same oath that she will swear to in this trial. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9. Court records show Adam Montgomery has a lengthy criminal history in New Hampshire and Massachusetts dating back to the early 2000s, which include robbery, assault, and firearms charges. Montgomery is currently serving decades in prison for weapons charges unrelated to Harmony's case. As this trial now enters the evidence phase, we are hearing from key witnesses in the case. WMUR's Tim Callery is live in the newsroom with a look at the testimony from the biological mother of Harmony Montgomery. And Jean Crystal Sorry told the jury about her daughter Harmony, telling them that she was a very smart girl, a very talkative girl, and a very friendly little girl. Crystal uh, testified today that she originally lost custody of Harmony Montgomery in 2014 when she was just two months old. Sorry admitted that she is a recovering drug addict and wasn't in the right frame of mind to care for her daughter at the time. She says the two were reconnected in March of 2016 before Harmony returned to foster care 10 months later. Sorry became emotional on the stand this morning when she recalled the last time she saw her daughter. When did you last see Harmony? April. April 2019. April of 2019. Yeah, right before Easter. And Crystal says the two spoke during a video call. After that call, she says Adam Montgomery cut off all contact with her. She says for months she tried to reach Adam to see her daughter, but she could never track him down. Also today, we heard from the foster mother of Harmony Montgomery, who told the jury that Harmony came to her as a newborn with a brain development disorder and that Harmony wasn't expected to live past seven months old. But she says Harmony defied all odds and was a thriving child. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.